Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning into the Freedom Shooter 13 channel. Today we're going to be talking about arming your spouse. Um, if your wife's not into guns or she's just getting into guns, this is going to be a great video for her to watch. I'm going to try to talk about uh, why she needs to carry a gun. Well, first and foremost, um, women are just way more likely to be sexually assaulted than men are. And I hate to put that out there, I hate to put that uh, statistic out there, but it's just true. Um, you know, women have to worry about um, predators. And so the perfect equalizer isn't a knife, uh, it's definitely not mace or tasers. Those do help, obviously, but a gun. Um, a gun is going to end the threat immediately, and you're going to be able to, to take care of whatever you need to take care of. So that's the first and foremost. It's a great equalizer. Second of all, um, it's hard to protect yourself when someone's attacking you. It's even more hard, uh, or it's even harder when, uh, when you're trying to protect others around you, meaning your children. You know, say your wife's a, a mother of two or three, you know, and someone's trying to hurt her. Well, not only is she trying to protect herself, but she's trying to, you know, be mama bear and protect her children. Well, a gun is going to be the perfect advantage that she needs. Um, and so that's, those are, you know, the two reasons that I recommend. You know, also, you know, last um, but not least, obviously, you know, if you're ever there with her and, you you know, you're both armed and still carrying, it helps to have an extra gun with a, you know, with a trained body behind it because, um, you know, like you know, if, if two, you know, two suspects walk in and are, you know, shooting up the store, it, it helps to have two armed people there to fight. Definitely uh, puts the odds in your favors and uh, gives you a better chance to win that fight. Um, so those are some reasons behind why I think you should arm your spouse. Now, where to start? Um, I recommend with picking up a concealed carry handguns March edition of 2015. And the reason why is... It's got a lot of guns, gun reviews. Uh, it's going to go over every gun manufactured in 2014, their specifications, their, uh, you know, their ammo capacity, just anything and everything that your wife's going to want to know. It's going to be in there, and she can read it from someone else. She doesn't have to hear it from you, obviously. So uh, let her go through. Let her pick out. We'll say you know three or four handguns. Now once she's picked out three or four handguns, go to a gun show, go to your gun range or a gun store, and let her feel those handguns. Let her pull the triggers and possibly. You know let her shoot the guns because that's going to be you know a deciding factor for her whether she's comfortable with it or not so uh you let her kind of do that now once you've you know once you've let her look at the guns and stuff make sure that you recommend some reputable brands don't just let her go in and go in and kind of you know buy a taurus or buy a high point just because it looks cool or because it's pink give her some reputable um reputable companies and uh let her make her own decision and don't let the gun store advocates, you know, or the gun store owner, you know, persuade their decision. A lot of gun stores, you know, obviously point women straight to, to revolvers. And I'm, you know, I'm not for that. I, I think that women are just as capable as men are as shooting semi-automatic handguns. And so, uh, you know, they should be armed to, to the best of their ability. So, uh, now once you've gotten her, you know, her her handgun, you've let her pick it out, you bought it, you purchased it, you've got her concealed carry permit, hopefully. Um, get her some reputable training. Go to, uh, you know, make sure that it's just not, you know, how to shoot a handgun. You know, even though that is a good course, you know, get her some beginner classes, you know, get her some safety training, but also get her some defensive training and possibly take the classes together. Um, and maybe you'll even do some teamwork drills, um, which are going to be super important if you're ever protecting yourselves and your children. Um, depending on where you are, there are reputable trainers all over the country, and so make sure you go and check those guys out. Uh, closest to me is probably Valridge. Uh, I believe Quantico Tactical uh, offers some training here in Virginia. Uh, Tactical Response down in Tennessee. You know, if you live out west, Thunder Ranch in Oregon. Um, a lot of people do uh, Zert does team training down in Vegas. I mean, there's so many reputable people around that. Uh, just make sure that you get somebody that's gonna going to teach you how to defend your life with a gun, not just how to shoot it. Um, but uh, make sure that your wife's shooting when you go out and shoot, and she needs to be putting just as many rounds as you do, because her life is just as important as yours is. And so, I hope this was helpful. I hope that, uh, you know, you got out what you need to, but uh, for those young married couples, it's easier for the, it's easy for the guy to say, this is what you need, but uh, more than likely, you're not going to carry what we tell you to carry. So pick a gun that you uh, want to carry out, carry women. And uh, and carry it. You know, that's the biggest thing is having a gun, having the training to use it, and then just simply carrying it. Um, that's what's going to be the most important. And so, 
women remember that you're responsible for the, your life and the people around you's lives especially your children and men remember uh, as uh, leaders of the home that you are responsible for your family and their safety and their protection and uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this video always remember that your personal success in this life will depend on your ability to motivate yourself have a great day